this video about making a comedy album is all about getting an audience in lots of ways. The original way I was thinking about this video was getting an album audience, uh, sorry, an audience to watch your comedy album recording, but also from the minute you decide you're going to become a stand-up comedian who wants to sell things, you need to start building an email list. And you need to build your own email list so that you have control over it and can let your fans know where you are. Now, there's Facebook, there's Instagram, there's TikTok, there's um, Snapchat, there's a million different social media platforms out there, and there's going to continue to be more all the time. And they're great for getting fans and audiences. Um, but email is a great one because it doesn't change as often and you can reach people no matter what platform they're on. So you need to be on all the platforms where your people are. And it's a good idea as a comedian to know who your people are. I know um, that I have more women than men and I know about how old they are, are kind of like my core audience. And I can tell that because I can see on my Facebook page who interacts regularly. My Instagram has statistics about who interacts regularly. All those things will tell you who your audience is, who likes, who comments, who shares your stuff. You can get to know where they are and then meet them where they're at. But from the very beginning, I would try really hard to get their email addresses. I have failed on that on some instances, but the reason why you want to do that is because when it comes time to record your album, you want to make sure that they've got a chance to buy tickets to your show. You may want to consider having it a free show to do your album in order to get butts and seats but the problem with that is is when people pay nothing they feel like the tickets worthless and they're way more likely to not show up so I don't recommend that you give out free tickets um, to everyone I think if you have a core of people that are your buddies and your besties your parents your best friends anyone who has a fantastic cackle those guys can get comp tickets but the rest of the audience should be paying so that they actually show up because when you've got a free ticket and Friday night shows up and it's snowing or it's hot or who knows what people just decide to do something else so to that end you have to be careful you don't want to oversell your show and then people are disappointed at the door they can't get in but you want to make sure that thing is as full as possible so what I would do is send an email out immediately saying hey an album recording date is here get in for tickets now do an early bird code if you buy tickets in the first 24 hours or if you buy this week you get 10% off or 20% off make them and have an incentive to buy a ticket now um, so that you can know right away how many people you have in your audience and then as the album record gets closer you can start looking around and going, hey, we still we only have 30 people in a place that sits 50, or we have 200 people in a place that sits five. We need to sell 300 more tickets. Then you can start being strategic about it. So I offer an early bird special. Make that the deepest discount that you offer because that'll go to the core people that really love you. And then you could do another discount that's a little bit less of a discount as it gets closer and then I would comp people as you see like okay we have a deficit of X many seats then I would start calling people that are your friends or other comics or whatever and say hey you've got a great laugh or would you do me a solid or come and fill in those spots um, <clears throat> you can spread them out throughout the room too so that they increase the laughter but an email list is a really big big deal you want to make sure at your at your album recording that you also have an email list where people can sign up or opt in or you can give them a number to text you so that you get some way to contact them directly so that when the album is produced you can go ahead and say hey you were there on the day it was produced here if your cackle made the final cut here's you buy the album pre-order it now um, I've been hawking pre-orders like crazy and the reason is is because those pre-orders all go in kind of the queue so on the day of the release of the album everything that you've sold so far in iTunes case counts on that one day so if you sell for like four weeks before your album comes out all everything you sell in those four weeks all counts the day that it's released and that can put you at the top of the charts and you can brag about saying hey I have a number one album which everyone's really excited about doing so email addresses are a big deal or text. Make sure that you up your social media. The social media game today is a really big deal. It's important for people to have, and I sometimes I do great on it, and sometimes I don't do great on it because um, sometimes it feels like there's not a lot to say. Sometimes comedy is not very glamorous, and sometimes I forget. I'm so excited to get to a show. I get on stage. I get off stage. Last weekend, I went back um, for the first time to House of Comedy, and we had a full audience, and I had in my head like, hey, you know, turn the camera and get you in the crowd. And then when I was doing the show, it just seemed really hokey to do that. I didn't do it. I didn't. I got, like, pictures in the back of the room of other comedians, but none of me on stage. So that's another thing you could probably do from a marketing perspective is when you get on stage have your friend or another buddy take a picture of you and text it to you ask people to do that for you people will do it but you have to ask so 
email addresses for people, meet them where they're at, make sure you tell everyone who was there at the album recording when it's available, and if you self-promoted, I would highly suggest that as part of being there in the audience when you recorded the album, that they get a discount on the album. So you can say, hey, if you get a ticket to the album, you know, the recording of the album, I will give you a discount to buy the album when it comes out and give them some sort of incentive to buy the album when it comes out because that helps you as well and they're more likely to review it. The other thing that you can do too is you can say that being there at the album recording, you can write them thank you in the thank you notes. I've actually sent out personal thank you cards to everyone who's ordered the album with stickers inside of them. Here's one right here, somebody's address. Um, and then it has the album art in there and then I wrote a personal thank you note reminding them to review the album with the record label logo on the back. There you go. Um, and that way they get something physical handwritten from you signed as a thank you. I think it's really important when people want to feel like they're invested in your success that you do something to set yourself apart and thank them. So any way you can do that is great. So again, deep discount immediately when you announce your album release show to encourage people to buy tickets now so you don't have to spend the week before the album recording freaking scrambling that there's nobody there. Offer a site less discount and then make sure that people know like, hey, it's $12 in advance, $15 at the door. It doesn't have to be a lot of money, just some incentive for them to go ahead and buy online and then you can know how many people you have in the audience so that you can call if you figure out your minus, however, you can talk to your friends about stacking the place with really good cacklers. So those are my tips. The other thing I would tell you is do not uh, rest on that. Do not think that all the people that love you are going to just show up for your album recording. I can't tell you how many times people have said, what is an album? I don't understand what we're doing here. They literally don't know that comedy can be recorded and released and you can download it on Spotify and iTunes and all that stuff. They just don't know. So they have no idea how important they are to you and it's really important to get a great audience. So hope that was some good tips for you. Take care. Bye.